Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this super cute word search sign for Mother's Day using your Cricut. This is a great gift idea and is so easy to make. Best of all, it can be personalized with any names you want. For this project, you'll need a glass picture frame and mine measures about eight inches by 10 inches. You'll need vinyl, transfer tape, your weeding tool and scraper, painter's tape or masking tape, scrapbook paper or hot glue, your Cricut, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and then head over to your computer. The first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for these projects that I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just click on free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. Once you're in the library, you can search for the file Mother. It will either be listed under the most recent projects and cut files or under the Mother's Day category. You can also use your browser search to find it. I've added the unique code BA1496 after the file name to make finding the design a little bit easier. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on that link and the file will be downloaded onto your computer. Now when you download these files online, they come in a zipped folder and you'll need to unzip or extract them before you can use them in Cricut Design Space. To do this, you'll need to go to the location where downloaded files are saved onto your computer. Once you're there, look for that zipped folder that we just downloaded and double click on it. A new window will open and somewhere you should see the option to extract or unzip. Click on that and another window will open up. And this will show you where the unzip files will be saved onto your computer. And you need to remember this location because you'll have to get to it once you're in Cricut Design Space. So go ahead and click on extract and those files will be unzipped and they're now ready to use in Design Space. So let's head over to Design Space and start a new project. Once you're on the Canvas screen, go ahead and click on the Upload button, and then click Upload Image, and then click on Browse. And now you'll want to go to that location where the unzipped files were saved onto your computer. Once you're inside of that folder, you'll see several different file types listed, and we want to use an SVG file. But you'll notice in this list, there's not an SVG file. And that's because on my computer, SVG files show up as a Microsoft Edge HTML document. And it might also show up as a Chrome HTML document. So if you don't see SVG in this list of files, be sure to look for one of those instead. Now select the file and then click open. Make sure it's the design you want to work with and then click upload. Select the design one more time and then click Insert Images. And now the design will appear on your Canvas screen. So the word mother is going to go at the top of our word search and then these paint stripes are going to go behind each of the names that we create. So now let's go create our word search. So we're going to go over to Google and search for Word Search Maker. And I like to use this one from education.com. So go ahead and click on that and you'll be taken to this screen where you can create your word search. So where it says words, you can just type in the names that you want to appear in your word search. Once you've typed your names, you can scroll down and you can choose how many letters down and across you want the word search to be. And I like to use 10 and 10. You can also choose uppercase or lowercase letters and I definitely prefer to use uppercase and I also like to leave use diagonals checked. So now you can click on create and over here you'll see the word search. 
you can click on the answer key and this will show you where the different names will appear. If you don't like the look of it, you can click on scramble and then choose answer key again and it will change where each of those names appear. And you can just keep clicking on scramble until you find a layout that you like. Once you've found a layout you like, click on worksheet again. And then if you're on a Windows computer, you're gonna hold down the control key and press the plus key to make the word search bigger. And you want to make it as big as you can while still seeing all of the letters on the screen. The next thing we need to do is copy this entire design so that we can bring it into Cricut Design Space. So if you're on a Windows computer, you'll want to press the Windows key and just type in snipping tool. This little box will come up and make sure it's not covering any of your letters. Click try snip and sketch, then click new and then move your cursor so it's above all of the letters and hold down your left mouse key and just drag and select the entire design. When you let go of your mouse key, the design will be brought onto this screen and then you can save it onto your computer. If you're on a MacBook and you need to make the design bigger, hold down the command key and then the plus key and just make the design as big as you can. To take a screenshot on a Mac, you'll press Command, Shift, M4, and then you can move your cursor above the design and drag down until you've selected the entire design. When you let go of the mouse key, the screenshot will be saved onto your desktop. Now that we've made our word search, let's head back over to Cricut Design Space. You're gonna click on Upload Again, click Upload Image, and then click on Browse. And now you'll want to find that screenshot of the word search. Select it and click open. And then it's going to take you to this screen. And for this project, we're going to choose the complex option and then click continue. And now what we're going to do on this screen is remove the white background. So to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing, we're going to choose advanced options, reduce the colors down to two, and that will just turn the white to gray and then increase your color tolerance to 100. And then you can just start clicking on the gray areas to remove them. Once you're done, you can just click on preview just to make sure that you didn't skip any letters and we need to still do the R and the A. So you can click on those and then just click on preview one last time to make sure you removed all of the gray. If everything looks good, you can click on continue again and make sure that you choose cut image and then click upload, select the design one more time and then click insert images. And now our word search will appear on the canvas screen. So the next thing that we're going to do is resize everything so that it will fit on our glass picture frame. And to do that, we're going to create a rectangle that is the same size as the piece of glass. So we're going to choose shapes and then choose square. And then you can go up here and unlock the padlock and put in the dimensions of your glass frame. And mine measures about eight inches by 10 inches. So now this rectangle represents the piece of glass and I'm just going to change the color to white and click on arrange and send to back. And that will just move that rectangle behind all of the designs. And so now we can just resize these different elements so that it will fit on our piece of glass. And I'm making my word search about six and three quarters of an inch. And then before we resize this part of the design, we need to ungroup these two colors. So we're going to right click and choose ungroup. And now we can work with just the mother portion. So we'll drag that over and just resize that down a little bit. Once I'm happy with the size, I'm going to select the rectangle, the word search, and the word mother, and then click on a line and choose center horizontally. And then you can select just the rectangle and delete that. Now I'm going to select both the word search and the word mother again, and right click and choose attach. And that will just lock those together so I don't accidentally shift 
one of these over and get them off center. So the next thing we're going to do is resize these brush strokes so they can go over those names that we created. So right now you'll notice that all three of them are grouped together and we need to right click and choose ungroup. And then we can select the different brush strokes and resize them. So now you can just grab one of these brush strokes and bring it over to the name that you want to highlight. You can unlock the padlock and then just drag on these arrows until the size looks good. And then just repeat those steps until you've highlighted all of the names. If you need more brush strokes, you can right click and just click duplicate. So with these brush strokes that overlap, you have two options. You can either cut them all out individually and then overlap them when you apply them onto the design, or you can weld any pieces that overlap. And I'm actually going to do that with these three pieces here. So I'm going to select all three of them and right click and choose weld. And so now it's going to cut this as one piece and this as one piece. And then also this design as one piece. So that's all that we need to do on the canvas screen. We can go over and click on the green make it button. Next, you'll be taken to this screen and this will just show us what the design is going to look like on our different cutting mats. And since we're cutting two different colors, it sorts the design onto these two different mats. I'm going to cut the first mat in black and I'm going to cut the brush strokes in pink. But since we're going to apply the vinyl onto the back of the piece of glass, we want to mirror both of these designs. So it will cut the designs in reverse and then when we apply it onto our piece of glass, it will be the correct way. So if everything looks good, you can click on the green continue button. Once Design Space finds your Cricut, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure that your dial is set to vinyl and then you can go load your cutting mat. Place a piece of black vinyl on your cutting mat and smooth it out so there aren't any wrinkles or bubbles. Then load it into your Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. When your Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the machine will begin cutting. When everything is finished cutting, Press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. Remove the black vinyl from the cutting mat and place on a piece of pink vinyl. Then repeat these steps until everything has been cut. Remove the pink vinyl from your cutting mat and then you can trim off any unused portion of the vinyl. Weed away the extra vinyl from around the letters and those brush strokes. You can use your weeding tool to help you pull out the small pieces left inside of the letters. Next, place a piece of transfer tape sticky side up on your work surface. Then place the vinyl on top of the transfer tape and smooth it down. Rub over the entire design with your scraper, then trim off the excess transfer tape and vinyl backing and you can cut apart the different sections of the design. To apply the vinyl to our frame, we're going to be using the hinge method. Start by removing your piece of glass from the frame and clean it with a lint-free cloth and let it air dry. Next, place the design on your frame and center it. Use a piece of tape to hold the design in place. Use a ruler to make sure the design is straight and centered. Make any adjustments if needed, and then when you're happy with the placement, Press the tape down onto your piece of glass. Next, you're going to separate the vinyl and the backing from the right half of your design. Pull the vinyl over your piece of tape and then cut off and remove the vinyl backing. Use a scraper to press the design down. You'll want to start at the tape and press to the right. Now remove the painter's tape and the rest of the vinyl backing. Use your scraper to press down the rest of the design. Now you can carefully pull off the transfer tape. Next, place your brush strokes over the letters so you know which strokes go where. Then pull the vinyl backing off one of your strips and position it over the letters. Since these are brush strokes, they don't have to be perfectly straight or centered. Just do your best to make them look good. 
Press it down with your scraper and then remove the transfer tape. Repeat this step with all of your other brush strokes. When you flip the glass over, you'll probably see lots of air gaps between the letters and the brush strokes. You can flip the glass back over and firmly press around each letter with your finger. This should help to get rid of most of those gaps. There are a couple options to finish this frame. You can either add a piece of scrapbook paper behind the glass and then put the picture backing back into place, or if you want it to be a floating frame, you can break off those metal tabs and then use hot glue to glue the glass into place. And that's all there is to it. This project is finished and now you have an adorable custom made gift for Mother's Day. If you enjoyed this project and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll get notified each time I post a new video.